So very, very good afternoon, and thankful to organizers for giving me an opportunity to give the presentation. <coughs> so in the meantime, you know they are fixing the technical issue. <coughs> My topic is resiliency and reliability of uh, uh, resilient grid, which consists of solar and renewable energy. So <coughs> in this talk, I'll just give a brief scenario of our Indian power system and then Central Asian countries, uh, what are the opportunities there, we can collaborate. And also, <coughs> United Nations is pushing for a resilient grid for Central Asian countries. And we have developed uh, many things here. We are doing a lot of things in this area, uh, in our country, and there is a big scope for doing the same in Central Asian countries, and we can collaborate. Recently, our Honorable Prime Minister has formed International Solar Alliance, and in which 116 countries are coming to, you know, National Institute of Solar Energy and getting training. <coughs> I'm part of this. So uh, that's the whole scenario. And one solution uh, which we have developed in our lab to make system reliable. Uh, okay, no issues. I'll, I'll just, just, <coughs> just give uh, there's some technical problems. So I'll give presentation from my slide. I'll just... Uh, Read that time is running out, so I'll have to be fast. <coughs> so, as per uh, the data of MNRE, our country has ability of generating 750 gigawatt power from solar. And as of today, the total uh, installed capacity. 42.5% of our country is coming from renewable energy sources. Out of 57.5% is coming from fossil fuels. Now, in November, United Nations supports countries in Central Asia to build resilient energy system. That's what the push from United Nations. We already have, uh, we have in India, we have done a lot of work in this area and we have developed many things. So, as per the solar map uh, given by uh, Forbes, uh, you know, uh, uh, dot com. I mean, in their report they published, these uh, countries have around uh, 4,000 gigawatt capacity to generate the power from this renewable energy sources. So it's a huge potential, and a lot of work needs to be done. So when I say <coughs> these renewable base system, so it involves a lot of electronics components, and this reliability of these components plays a very important role making the grid resilient. So in our lab, we have developed an artificial intelligence and machine learning based technique. We have developed a device which, 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 which we connected to the inverter, which is main part of the solar system. So it will in five minutes, it will give all the informations about the health of that particular, whether how much life is remaining, whether any action needs to be done. So this way we can make our things resilient. So there is a big scope, you know, same thing can be implemented in Central Asian countries and like this we have so many solutions. So with this I would like to uh, conclude my session. Unfortunately I was not able to show my PPT to you, uh, but, it's fine. but no issue. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much sir due to paucity of time.